this is a brief video to show you how to install the essentials for our plugin for SPSS. First step is get the plugin. Probably the easiest way to do this is to do a Google search for tools for SPSS products. And one of the top links you get from there will take you to a web page at IBM. Now you need to have registered an account with IBM, which I already have, uh, and then you can sign in and access the tools available from them. So that will take you to a web page that lists a whole bunch of stuff. And essentially, uh, assuming you've got the latest version of SPSS, you want to download the essentials for R for version 24, but obviously in future years, you might want it for version 25 or whatever. So select that, click on continue, you get the usual uh, kind of privacy stuff. So untick boxes if you don't want to be contacted from IBM. Uh, obviously you read their terms and conditions, which I know off by heart. Agree and confirm. That takes you to another page. Uh, on my Mac, I always have massive problems using their download director. So I click on that tab that allows you to download directly from your web page. Again, scroll down until you find the essentials for R for whatever version of SPSS you want. Click the download. Also worth getting the documentation for the version of the plugin that you're planning on using. Within that documentation, which is a PDF file, there's some fairly important information about which version of R to install. Now, weirdly, if you're doing this with version 24, it actually downloads the wrong PDF and it tells you to install R3.1, but actually you want R3.2. Next thing to do if you're on Windows is check your version. So go to the settings tab. And then in that window, click on system, scroll down and then about and then down the bottom it will tell you whether you're using 32-bit or 64-bit operating system. Then you get R. So you want to go to the R project website and click on the CRAN link and that takes you to a list of sites that you can download from. It doesn't really matter which one you click but because I'm in the UK I decided to choose one of the UK ones. So once you're there, you can see you can download R for Mac or Windows. Click on the Windows one. Click on the link to install R for the first time. And you want to click on previous releases down the bottom of that page. And in the previous releases, you want to find a version of R3.2. So I've gone for R3.25. Once you download that file, the next thing is to install it. So you should now have R in your downloads folder. So double click it and that will take you through a standard installation procedure. So, you know, click on next, click on next, click on that because it's fine. Uh, if I was on a 64 bit system, so I might want to get rid of the 32 bit files if I'm really desperate to save space. Or I might change my mind. Basically, accept the default stuff unless uh, you know what you're doing. That's all fine. Click on next. That's probably all fine. Change it if you want. And then always away and install R. Happy days. Once you've installed R, you need to install the plugin for SPSS. That will also be in your downloads folder, but you need to start it up as an administrator. So you need to right click on it, click on run as an administrator, and then you'll get another standard Windows install thing that does actually take quite a bit of time to do. So you need to be a bit patient. Uh, click on next, uh, read the terms and conditions in enormous detail before you agree to them. I was a very quick reader. This is just asking you where you installed R and it should be installed in the, the place that it's looking. So that's all fine. 
and then it's also going to ask you uh, where you installed SPSS and again the default should be fine because you should have SPSS installed uh, you know, in the right place. Then that will whiz through that, like I said it takes a bit of time, you get a bit of black screen action going on and then eventually it will finish and then you have at your fingertips the world of R but in SPSS. Hooray!